Good morning, guys. We're currently stuck in a car park because we are stupidly going Christmas shopping a week before Christmas. Is it a week? Just over a week Just before Christmas. Week. Hey, guys. How you doing? We're in Grimlock. Is that Perth traffic? In the car park. Alrighty, head to resort to rooftop parking. It is so bright. Oh. That is so crazy busy, but oh, we have to get this done. No, no, that's all right. I don't think we're going to show you guys too much because we don't want anyone to watch this and work out what we're getting them for Christmas. But uh, hopefully we can find a few things because, I don't know, sometimes it's hard to work out what we should get for people and work out what they don't have already and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> let's go in. So you just hold them under the water. Oh. <laughs> this is why Lush is so fun to come into. And you put him aside for later. Ah, oh, and then you just... And then... You just make bubbles. Uh, Whoa, it makes pizza bubbles. Yeah. It's Let's find Christmas. Santa. Oh, what? where's Santa be? Be on break. Thank you, Maya, for your friend that is just too obsessed with Nutella. Remember, I was so obsessed with Nutella. It was like my password for everything. Was it? <laughs> yeah, for everything. <laughs> Oh my god, they have a little Christmas pop-up store and it's a gingerbread house. We need to do gingerbread house when we get to Cairns. The one from Ikea? Nope. This is the one Jessica wants. Personalised Vegemite jar. <sighs> Nothing makes you to sleep here than shopping. It's after the after party. I'm so tired, oh my gosh. This afternoon is a little bit exciting, but I'm so tired to like get excited. But we have a Skype call. It's like very wedding orientated today, actually. We have a Skype call with our wedding planner, and then I'm gonna go and try on wedding dresses. And I haven't tried any on yet, so that's exciting, but I'm just so tired. I need a coffee. Our Skype calls in four minutes, by the way. In four minutes? Mm. I told her I'd email her when we're ready. You go put the kettle on, I'll go email her. Polly, put the kettle on. But yeah, um, Cleo's gonna come with me. I'm going to pick her up after work and we're going to go wedding dress shopping. But Heidi can't come because she has work late. And this is the only day that me and the girl that is, um, she has like a little wedding dress kind of boutique. And today's one of the only days she was free for me to try them on before I go to Cairns for ages. And I really wanted to try them on before the year was finished. So we have to go today. So Cleo is going to come. And then we'll probably go back in January if I do choose one from her. And bring Heidi and Cleo along and then we can like go get measurements and all that stuff to make it fit me perfectly. But um... I'm really exciting. I really hope I like one from this place. Yee, I'm excited! I'm obsessed right now. Like every day I've been eating these. Guys, we just had an amazing Skype phone call with our wedding planner. A lot of stuff to do. But it's exciting because we're starting early. So it's all going to get done in time. And it's just reassuring having someone that's in where we're getting married. <laughs> who's going to like sort out the stuff. Especially when it comes to like legalities and little things like mm. we need plates. And we need cutlery. And we need glasses. Mm. Like things that you need. And I have a face, a mouthful of peanut butter. But I was just going to say that if you are trying to organize a destination wedding. I highly recommend a wedding planner. I feel like if you're getting married in your own country it's quite easy to organize yourself but yeah. another country is hard so um find a wedding planner also i feel like i need to tell you guys this every christmas because of course there's new people that always like to join us around christmas time my weird christmas habit my favorite thing to eat is frozen yes you heard that right frozen mince pies don't like to heat them up don't like them to be room temperature just frozen. Do you guys have any weird food habits you like to eat? Let us know because I think I'm probably the only person I've ever met that eats frozen mince pies, but they are so good. Do you so like them hot good. though? Do you like them hot? The more I eat them frozen, the more I like them frozen. Mm. I think if someone served it to me hot, I'd be a little bit depressed. But if someone served it with me hot with cream or custard or something like that, that would be pretty good. Alrighty guys, I'm off to go pick up Cleo and then I'm gonna go try on what do you just ask? I'm so excited! She made me stop for Red Rooster. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I'm nervous! Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> so nice. <gasps> One of these could be it. <laughs> the book. Ooh. <laughs> and then they can get an idea of what they look like. How was it? How was it? Don't keep me in suspense. Why are you picking my nose? Did it go well? I found the dress. You found the dress? I found the dress. Oh, 
this is so cool. So I'm exciting. so jealous. You need to find a suit now. Oh, I do, I do. <sighs> One thing I can tick off the list now. I've got a headache now though. I'm sure trying I was feeling on wedding stressed. dresses. How was the experience? What it was happened? really good. No, 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 it was really good. And how is was this stressful to? trying on it? Well, good. I got a dress. It feels way more real now that I've got a dress, don't you reckon? Mm -hmm. That's like the biggest thing. It's like six months. Six I'm on months. top of it. Yes. And they're gonna get it all fitted to me like right before the wedding so it can fit perfect. And then you have to get a suit. Yes. Stephen always finds it hard to get a suit that fits, so you're probably gonna be spending more on alterations in the suit. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because when, when Ashley got married, we had to all buy suits, which was fine, but I think we got the suits pretty reasonable, like $200 for like a designer suit, which was amazing, but then I spent like $300 to get a fit. You're so gonna do that. What colors are you gonna choose? Oh, I need to know. That's your decisions. All right, I need a shower. That's such a headache. It's Chloe's birthday tomorrow, by the way. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we should get her something. We haven't got her anything. I think she wants a GoPro or something. How cool is this little teapot? So it comes with a cup and a pot. Of course it's Cleo because she's obsessed with a tea. This is so cool. I love it. I love that idea. Hot. Maybe I'll do this. Mm. Hey guys, it's the next day and <laughs> I'm just fine. Finding myself way too hilarious right now. I feel like I am secretly the worst brother ever, ever, but then at the same time not the worst brother ever. It is my sister's 22nd birthday today. She really wanted a GoPro, so we looked at it and it was like, me and Jess were like, oh, probably a bit out of our price range, so what we're gonna do is like give her some cash towards it. I think my parents are gonna give some cash towards it, and then Claire just has to like chip in just a little bit more, so not, not too bad. So what we've done is, uh... <laughs> I've just played a bit of a bit of a mind game with Claire is we're gonna have some cash and then she really wanted this video game to play So I was like, oh, you know, we'll get that for her So what I've done is I've slipped the cash into the video game and then I've like wrapped it up And then I put that with some newspaper then put it into a lunchbox and then I put it into a big box And then I've also gone and wrapped the big box So she's totally gonna think when she gets the box that the GoPro's there <laughs> But uh, it should be really funny to see her reaction. It's almost like there was that kid game you play at birthday parties. Pass the parcel. I've done that a bit. And even just to like add to it a bit, I've got like Cleo to Cleo. And then just like, hmm, fill in the blanks. When we were in Cape Town, and I didn't find like a place to show you guys, but I actually crashed my drone. What happened was we were flying it in the wine region of Cape Town, and uh, my drone crashed on itself. So it wasn't actually my fault. It just went up and then went whoop. And the thing was, it actually nearly missed a Mercedes Benz, which was... I couldn't even imagine what would have happened if it crashed into the Mercedes Benz. But I emailed DJI and they're like really good. I just said, hey, this is what happened to my drone. And they said, send me the flight records and you can actually see like where your drone goes. And they're like, yeah, that was our fault. We'll send you a brand new drone. So what happens is they literally sent me a brand new drone. I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I'm actually saving up for the Mavic. I have a little Mavic fun because at the moment we're saving up for our wedding and we've got other travels to do that I just can't justify spending $1,700. So I was like, what happens is sell a bit of old equipment and put it towards the Mavic. So it's become a tradition. Every year for the past probably seven years we've been going to Sizzlers. Every year another Sizzler seems to close down. There's one left in Perth. And we come for her birthday. Sizzler. And I swear every year it gets more expensive and every year we complain more. I want cheesy bread. Is that an Australian thing or an everywhere thing? By the way, I'm holding this big old present. She don't know what she's getting. I'm excited. Jess, what have you just done? She like, we cut. I don't eat it like this though. I thought I'd found tomato soup in a special section. I was like, there's another section of tomato soup here. So I've been eating it, eating it. And I was like, wow, this is getting really sickening. And I realized I'm literally eating straight pasta sauce. <laughs> no one comes here for the salad bar. This is what they come for. Oh, what is that? Oh, so it's light. Uh, look who wrapped it, by the way. Yes. Yes, Dave definitely. Look at this. This is terrible. What is this? What kind of like sticky tape? This is some um, tape for like netball tape. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like netball tape. Probably is your netball tape. I put love and effort and like five minutes spare time. Okay, guess it. Okay, so GoPros don't usually come in this big packaging, so it can't be a GoPro. But oh, so you got this on live, did ya? It's a lot smaller. <laughs> Let's get smaller, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> is this a game? Because I've already got my game. I've already paid for it. What? I don't know. I don't want this. I didn't want that game. You actually wanted it. What? Oh, what? I actually know you wanted 
So did you enjoy that fun? I did, I was actually using When like, did your oh, expectations for the present go downhill? I <laughs> That's what I Especially when you like, I don't even want this game. You really wanted this video game to play, so... I, was, I didn't want this. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a watchdog. Guys, we're Christmas light looking. Wow, that house is cool. Ooh. Wee! So this is... Oh my goodness, look at the size of this dude. That's what I want. Look at the size oh of you. Oh my gosh! It's huge! I decided to end the vlog the next day because she got it. Just in case you guys were wondering, she got it. And I think she's warming up to the game. I didn't want this! <laughs> <laughs> but today's comment of the day, which we haven't done in a while, which I feel like I need to keep on top of it, is from Douglas, to do with Christmas. Because I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the 18 minute vlog yesterday. We just had so much fun with so many personal memories and it was us catching up on Christmas. So let us know below if you did enjoy the little extended vlog there. Uh, we usually won't do them that long. We usually try to keep them at like the 10, around the 10 minute vlog, but we just loved all the footage. But yeah, Douglas was saying that, what are some Australian Christmas traditions? I'm ad-libbing a bit, a bit, because I don't have the comment in front of us. What are some Australian Christmas traditions? And also, what are some favorite holiday movies? Well, Douglas, I think we're gonna answer that over the next few vlogs as we head to Cairns tonight. And we're gonna show you what we get up to because like we said, Jess's family is extremely to Christmas. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you're enjoying these home vlogs. We kind of go traveling tonight but it's more of a holiday so it will be more travel stuff but let us know if you enjoy the home vlogs. Thanks so much guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye!